So this is just a quick one-off video about a turbo roundabout design which I shared yesterday but didn't actually share how I made it at all and my asset editor isn't working and I don't quite want to find out how I can get it to work and what mod is causing it and really for my own convenience it's easy to make this video here. Uh, I do need to give quick credits to D3 Construct who made another similar version of a turbo roundabout nearly a year ago but it doesn't actually use the tools that we have today like um, road anarchy and precision tools using which you can get so much more precise and realistic with the turbo roundabouts. In any case, uh, if you want to build a roundabout there's one important question I want to ask uh, which is why? Because actually in the game it doesn't work as well as it would in real life. In real life they are have a higher capacity and they are more safe than regular roundabouts uh, but in the game I've tested a couple of them and none of them really um, seem to function better than just a simple roundabout with highways in the game since the AI just doesn't like them too much. There's also some issues with glitching crosswalks so you need to get some different mods for that and essentially you can make a similar type thing if you use traffic manager or traffic plus plus to change the lanes. Regardless though I still need to make this quick tutorial especially if you want to go for a turbo roundabout design for aesthetics or just because you want to have something which is just a little bit more fancy than your regular roundabout highway and also if you're making a Dutch city and you really want to go completely realistic this might help out a lot. Okay, so to start it, I uh, just want to start off with a quick straight road like that as an entrance and um, have a 2x2 curve, a 4x4 curve and another 4x4 curve and just leave it just like that. And I want to use the one lane and one way roads just because they're quite small. I'll upgrade them to two lane one way roads later on just to look a little bit better but for the time being these are easier to handle. And also on the other side you want to do exactly the same, just the other way around. So we're going to come down from above here and go into this direction and have a 2x2 curve here, a 4x4 curve here and another 4x4 curve over here and out of the roundabout. And this is basically the basic spiral structure of a turbo roundabout where you start off if you go from here to here on the inner circle of the roundabout but you sort of spiral into the outer circle up to the point where you want to get off. And um, this is very much the basic structure and from this point you actually want to very quickly start upgrading these roads before we go any further. And that has to do with the fact that it's very it's impossible to actually make the connection between two roads over here over just one tile if you already have the two lane roads. So we're gonna have to upgrade this before we get to that. So I wanna upgrade this curve first and this curve too. And don't worry about these not being possible because you can really just add a quick straight road over here and that does work. Uh, though a quick thing to note about this, this only really works if you have sharp junction angles and you've pressed Ctrl A and Ctrl B to make sure to respectively get rid of all the, um, well they call it anarchy, so you can pretty much do anything you want with Ctrl A and Ctrl B will prevent snapping to certain curves when you connect roads to each other. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is just very quickly put a road in between these. This will make sure that the shape of this won't distort as we add the connections. And we just want to connect another road over here. Make sure it does face the right direction. And same for the other side. So one road over here. Uh, whoops. There we go. And reverse it. And that should be good as the entrance and exits on both the north and the south side of it. And at this point you can also upgrade these roads already, which will make sure that you don't get awkward gr uh, cross glitches in the middle of the roundabout. Now the sides are both a little harder to connect and the only way to actually get it working is to connect a small road over here and make sure to connect it here so you have an extra node and you can see it distorting a little there and it's not a perfect circle but you really need that slight distortion over there. Um, to actually be able to connect roads to it in the future because if that node isn't there you won't be able to connect a very small connection between where this road is going to end eventually and the same goes for this road. You'll see it in a second basically. So now it should look like this and we're going to want to upgrade these roads on the side 
to two lane roads and connect them to the end. And this will be the most outer lane for the entire roundabout and really finish the shape of it. And now we can just connect these roads on the sides over here. And basically, because we added that extra node in the middle, of, this extra node in the middle over here, you can connect this over a very short distance of just two squares. And if you didn't add that node over there, you wouldn't be able to actually make that connection. Okay, so pretty much after upgrading all of the roads, this is what the finished turbo roundabout should look like. The only issue, really, well, there's a couple of issues that I do have with it. Um, if you have network skins, it would be a pretty good help to turn off the street lights because, as you can see, they go pretty mad on a turbo roundabout like this. And since it's also larger than its real life counterparts, except for the ones with traffic lights, um, you might just want to put a couple of street lights as props in between it. But that's going too far into beautification. Also, I forgot a road over here. That's pretty stupid. One major issue with this, as you can see, is the glitching of crosswalks. It's pretty bad. Not to mention that this looks a whole lot better without all of the crosswalks. So if you do have one of the traffic managers, it would probably be a lot better to get rid of all the crosswalks. Uh, though, of course, that's just optional and you can always just build it with the network, ex network extension second highway. Um, yeah, all of the crosswalks aren't entirely beautiful. Another thing to note about this is that if you really want to get that Dutch sort of thing, what you quite often see is that it's uh, turbo roundabouts are really just connected to two lane roads which go in both ways, but the roads have to split as they approach the roundabouts. Uh, so what you quite often see actually, and a quick way to do that is that um, the regular road splits into two one-way roads and you can just kind of very quickly recreate that sort of idea by adding a small grid over here and connecting these roads to make sure they end at exactly the same spots oh god that can be kind of hard to do though there we go and what i commonly like to do for this type of case is you can create a road just about here and use the one-way one-lane roads to connect it to both of these roads like this and make sure they are facing the right direction and you'll have a quick transition. So especially if you're in a rural area or an industry area and you do have some one lane roads, uh, especially since uh, turbo roundabouts are quite often used for a place where a very busy road crosses a less busy road, um, it can be quite handy to use this thing on the side. And of course, too, for you traffic managers out there, there's one issue which has to do with the fact that especially the outer lanes um, for just making a quarter turn are quite often just completely skipped by the City Skyline's car users. And instead, they'll just go into the center lane and go in from here. Uh, so especially for cases like that, it can be very handy to actually change the lanes and say for cases like this you can only go straight and you can only go to the side which is what i would really recommend to change if you have either one of the traffic managers or traffic plus plus v2 so i quickly built a city of about 4,000 people and a lot of industry and commercial zones just to see how well it really does work and it's sort of very evenly spread among all four directions in this case um, the top one is the one coming in from other regions and while it does take all of the traffic reasonably well it actually doesn't take it as well as a possible four lane or three lane highway roundabout would that you can just build in city skyline so yes while it is something that you can build for realism or um, just aesthetic purposes it doesn't really live up to its other versions since as you can see over here the three lane roundabout actually has just about as good as a capacity as the turbo roundabout has in the same space if not better uh, the only real difference that i can really find here is that the, re <laughs> the regular two lane roundabout gets absolutely annihilated by all of the traffic which at least the turbo roundabout doesn't but yeah if you're looking to actually use this turbo roundabout or um some variation on it i would say there are definitely better options out there if you want to get a congestion free city and it's really just for the aesthetics or to mess with the idea of making a turbo roundabout and there are really some core issues in the game that prevent it from actually working very well in this case 
Among which the fact that this is quite a oversized roundabout uh, for a turbo roundabout. They are not usually made with two lane uh, lanes like this, but just much smaller versions that sort of replace a regular one lane roundabout, which they, they do have a higher capacity than regular one lane roundabouts, but you can't really get them in in that space in the game. And it's really nearly impossible to make them much smaller than this one currently is. And another issue with this is that turbo roundabouts are really designed um, around, well, real people driving real cars. And in the game, you don't really have this safety aspect or the idea that conflict points will lead to more crashes and more congestion because it just doesn't really work that way too much. In real life, turbo roundabouts are really used to get rid of all of the conflict points that you have on a regular multi-lane roundabout where you have to get on it and make sure you get through the outer lane and then find yourself in one of the inner more lanes if you want to make like a three-quarter turn and then as you want to leave the roundabouts, you need to find your way into the outer lane again and make your way through it to actually get to your destination where you want to go. Whereas in a real turbo roundabout, you sort of enter it and then you just spiral to the side of it uh, without having any conflict points or too many places where you need to um, keep track of other cars or you need to try to join other lanes because you simply don't really have to do so. And this is an idea that, well, Sims in Sim... <laughs> Whoa, did I just call it Sim City? Uh, Sims in City Skylines just don't really care about. And there's also the idea that people like to implement turbo roundabouts because they're safer and generally um, they are thought to lead to less accidents. But yeah, there is no reason to really care about that in City Skylines, I suppose. So yeah, it's just for aesthetics I suppose or if you really want to make that Dutch city or if you're just crazy about roundabouts. Anyway thank you for watching and hope you at least picked up something from this random video.